Hi folks, I'm Miss Katie, Resident Acting Director at PAA Performing Arts Academy in Highlands Ranch. And today I'm coming at you with a hot audition tip. So whenever you're auditioning with a live accompanist, you wanna be able to set yourself up for success. And that starts with the way you prepare your music. So I'm gonna give you an example here. Notice a couple things that I've done so that my accompanist has more information. The song title wasn't on the page that I chose for my audition cut, so I wrote it in at the top along with the show so that the accompanist has a little bit of context for what I'm doing. I also highlighted and drew arrows for my starting and stopping points. So that's again gonna be great information for the accompanist. Now, here's a little arts and crafts for everybody. If your music is only two pages, it should always be laid out like this, like a little book, so that your accompanist doesn't have to turn the page. If your music is three pages, we can accomplish the same thing with a little scotch tape. I just taped my third page here. Now it's laid out in my three ring binder, nice and flat on the piano so that there's no page turn. And then I got really fancy and I hole punched the right side of the music so that I can close this baby up when I'm going to my audition. Just place it right in here like a little book. Now it's nice and flat. I can close my binder. When I get to the audition, I can open it up and go like this. No page turns. I hope you have a great time at your next audition and that if you have three pages in your songs, you can try out this new trick. And we hope to see you around at PAA and Highlands Ranch. Take care.